After Charles II, who was the King of England, died, his brother James II succeeded the throne and became the King of England. James II was a Catholic, while most of the population, including the Parliament and bishops, were Protestants. That means a big problem. The Englishmen feared that the Roman Catholic Church would take control of the nation. So, James II promised that he would maintain a religious core. The English then felt relief. At that time, there were penal laws which oppressed the Catholics. There were no voting, no holding lands, no teaching Catholic or publishing book, and no worshipping. However, things didn't go that way. He then used the royal dispensing power to suspend the limitations and appointed his Catholic supporters to high military and governmental positions. After that, he distributed a declaration of indulgence. The declaration of indulgence suspended all penal laws, allowed people to worship out of the Church of England like in private houses or chapels, and ended the requirement that people take various religious oaths before people advancement to civil or military office. When the Parliament and seven Anglican bishops heard about the declaration, they began to find a way to get rid of this king. Mary is James' oldest daughter. She was a Protestant. She married to the Dutch head of state, William of Orange. People thought that when James died, he would abdicate the throne to Mary, and Mary would bring back Protestant. After a long period of time, James' son, James Edward Stewart, was born. He was going to be a Catholic like his parents. That wasn't a good news for the Englishmen. The Parliament started to take a serious discussions. They ended up revolting James. James II might be influenced by Thomas Hobbes' ideologies, which he believed that the king must have an absolute power and others have to follow. And this revolt might be influenced by John Locke's ideologies, which stated that people have right to revolt or rebel in order to make the government and the citizens have an agreement. The seven Anglican bishops started to take an action by sending an invitation letter to William of Orange. They invited William of Orange to come and be their new king. William of Orange, who was the Dutch head of state, always wanted to overthrow James II. So William then led his army straight toward England by ships. The colonization was starting because William was coming to overthrow James and conquer England. People who were at James' side are all shifted to William's side. James escaping from England to France before William's arrival. Sadly, he got caught and brought back to London. However, William didn't want a king as a prisoner. So he released James and James immediately fled to France. William then waited the Parliament to bring everything in conclusion. Finally, the Parliament came with an agreement called Bill of Right, which William had to agree first. The Bill of Right was an agreement between the King and the people, including the Parliament. It was to make sure that the King won't make decision alone. After William accepted and agreed with the Bill of Right, he and Mary then became the King and the Queen of England. And as a result, the monarch and the parliament were sharing the power.